Welcome back to Cray Outdoors. Just got out of work, went home, cooked up some dinner. Now we've only got about 35 minutes to fish. I'm hiking down to the lake. We've just got one rod with us with a super spook. It's the only lure. Super simple fishing here. All right, well, we made it to the lake. The good news for you all, now that I have a powerful enough computer for a short 30 minute fishing session like this, I can just leave the camera rolling. Now that I've got this desktop, should be powerful enough to pick apart long videos pretty easily. Uh, this camera has a battery life of, you know, two to three hours, so I can just leave it rolling for the whole 35 minutes we're out here and hopefully get some uh, top water action on film. Again, I live here, so I know what's going on. I know that these fish have been uh, busting after shad here every single night. The shad are spawning up uh, where this river in my backyard meets Lake Muma. You can see they're busting all over the place. So. Super Spook is the perfect bait. It mimics a dying shad. You can see things are really calm here. So Super Spook is going to create a commotion on the surface like it is. That's going to draw attention from, you know, the fish across the area. I mean, these fish, they're busting after live shad. It takes an energy toll on them to chase down schools of bait fish when there's just a bait fish dying on the surface. Um, makes a nice opportunity for them to just slam it. So. Uh, just giving you an idea of my whole thought process here with only taking this one lure. Uh, right in the evening like this, fish like to hit top water, so it just makes sense to go top water, especially when it's calm like this. Um, fish across, there we go! <laughs> I missed it, F word. Anyway, the fish across the river are going to uh, see what's going on. That was a decent one too. How do I hook these dang things? I'm looking at, got distracted, there's a bald eagle down there chilling on the bank. Distracted by a bald dang eagle. In this area looks potential ridden. There we go. That's what the doctor ordered. Decent one too. Problem is, <laughs> wanting to take me into them branches. All right, we're out of the super danger zone. There's another log in front of me, as you can see. All these trouble hooks too. I think it could be a smallie the way he's fighting. That's a largey, big largey though. Wahoo! 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 You know what I forgot, of course, the measuring tape. <laughs> we forgot a measuring tape. Boy, that's a big largey. Wowee, look at you, son. Look at you. You're gonna try and keep them from flapping in the mud here. The best we can. Buckets, baby, buckets. Bucket and mouth. I ever did see one. All right, off the hook. Good thing I brought those things with me, holy cow. That's the large mouth. That's probably my second biggest of the year. I think that one I caught up in the Adirondacks was a little bit bigger. Uh, let's see where he goes to. I do not know this new rod. He's about an inch under. He's an inch under, not even, I'd say. I mean, he's, you know, a finger, a finger width under that dot right there. Yeah, I guesstimate he's probably about 20 inches. He might be only 19 and a half. It's really... I mean, this is a football <laughs> largemouth. It's definitely fatter than it is uh, long. I guess to make this one at 19 and a half and fat, I am gonna sink in the butt, so I'm just gonna launch him. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Cool. You can see, just so I don't get hate, I have no choice but to give him a light toss. It's not too far. He'll be fine. Next trick, getting out of the mud. Go up and down, up and down, up and down. All right. <laughs> We made it out of the mud. Uh-oh, the downside of taking one lure with me. Yay. Success. That was a close one, folks. We just almost lost our fishing trip. Smaller, but I'll take it. I'm just trying to get away from that dang branch. 
All right, now we can fight it a little bit. <laughs> so I've only got 10 pound test braid. I can't, it's not like this is, this is not a uh, bait caster. It's a smallie, I think. Yay, small mouth, finally. I haven't got caught in a small mouth down here in a minute. Wee haw. Cool, I'll take it. We will take it. Cool. Little smallie, we'll take it. We're about ready to go in the water here. Back up, back up, beep, beep, beep. Okay, cool. That was a blow up. <laughs> that was, uh, that was a, I don't know if it was as big as the first one. It was definitely a lot bigger than the second one though. Small guy. Oh, down here is that underwater tree I was telling you about. As you can see on the ground, we've been having some fancy nights here for catfish. Anyway, it's an underwater tree over here. Um, and we're running out of time, so. Uh, we're going to fish this last spot and see if we can bag one more. I'm happy. I was expecting to. Um, I've actually had, I'd say, a few more blow-ups than I was expecting. Uh, but same result. Landed about the same amount of fish. I'm happy with the fish that large. F word. Well, bit right at the tree. As promised. I had fun tonight. We only had about five or six topwater hits, all of which we got on film, which is not something that I normally do. We only landed two fish, but the one was a big one. That was probably my biggest largemouth bass in the state of Virginia so far. I've caught some big catfish. Well, the next day, I'm getting ready for a new fishing trip, but I just remembered I need to measure to see how big that bass was last night. It went, I think, a thumbprint below here. About, I mean, it was about a fingerprint below there, so... Um, I think it'd be fair if we just put the end of the blue right there, because the zero starts right about there. So, about there to here, I'm on centimeters. Yeah, 18 and three quarters, really. Um, it actually probably rounds to 18 and a half. I think I overestimated, I think I said 19 and a half, but I'd say that fish was more like 18 and a half. It was a very fat 18 and a half inch bass. Like I said, that was a football, so it was certainly over three pounds and a nice fish. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe.